it's hard to plan for a future. Since I was very young, I've always wanted to kind of um, join the Marine Corps. When the future is a question mark. It wasn't until like I went to a recruitment office and I spoke to a recruiter that he told me I could not join because of my legal status. Joel asked us only to use his first name for his family's safety. I can't remember anything from Mexico. I was way too young. Um, but no, yeah, I've lived here my whole life. I grew up here. This is all I, the U.S. is all I know. Joel says military and law enforcement recruiters turned him away, so he turned to college. I'm a freshman at MSU Denver. A school with more than 380 other undocumented students. Yeah. With programs designed to help immigrants, students like him, and one familiar face on campus. So I can really relate to my brother because at some point I also didn't have a status. Joel's older sister Ruth is a dreamer, a DACA recipient, and also enrolled at MSU. DACA gave me a lot of security because without it I felt like my I felt like my life was at risk all the time. Um, I felt like I couldn't be myself or really um, be out there. I felt like I was invisible. A federal judge's decision to restore the DACA program brought her relief. And for Joel, I do believe that it's worth the risk. A chance to apply to become a dreamer, too. It'll uh, really boost my self esteem. You know, I, that's it'll give me a, a more sense of security being here. And, you know, from there, I can do a whole lot more things that I have more opportunities that I don't have right now. There are still question marks in their future, still hurdles to overcome, but they are on this journey together. She's basically my best friend. She's always the person I can turn to if I need anything. So overall, I'm inspired by him. Jennifer Meckles, 9 News.